What is going on guys? This is your boy Tank Hunter Fishing back with another video today. We are in Chile, New York. It's about 25 out right now. Um, today we're gonna be unboxing the Garmin Striker 4. Let me turn that around here real quick. Garmin Striker 4, full fish finder with the GPS. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you guys a full review. First off, I have to explain. I haven't posted in a, a vid in about two months because I haven't gone out fishing, haven't caught anything. Well, I've gone out like once or twice, but it's been cold and it's been a grind, but the ice season is almost here. We got about half an inch of ice on everything. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it about a week or two and then we'll probably have safe ice. So that is some good news because I just, this fish finder will help me with the ice fishing. So let's get it and let's go over this thing. So guys, starting off, we have your screen. This looks to be about like a four inch screen, I would say. Um, your battery hookups in the back. Looks pretty good, got your mount here. Looks like you can pinpoint things, so that means it has GPS. Uh, you got your power, back, arrows, and check marks. So that looks all good. So as we get in here, here is your case. I'm going to pop this open for you guys real quick. So right here, you have your Garmin case. Let me tilt the camera up. This Garmin case is sick. It's got a bunch of pockets in here for your transducer. You can have your transducer just sitting in this big pocket and just looking at it while you're jigging for, through the ice. You got back here, you got your big pocket for everything, which is also sick. So this case looks really good. <clears throat> Next up you have a manual. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pop this open. So safety, who cares? If we die, we die. Uh, Garmin Striker Series. This is sick. Important safety, doesn't matter. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We got instructions how to set this up. All right. Shout out to Garmin. This thing is sick. I'm gonna take the fish finder out and this cardboard. Next up, you have your little. Ah, that's heavy for a little battery. 12 volt <clears throat> long battery. Uh, 28 watts, 12 volt. Uh, yeah, this looks sick. You got your positive and negative. Yeah, just an all out pretty good battery. No handle to carry it though. But uh, yeah, all out looks like a pretty good battery. Little, I think this is a mount for the transducer. This right here, I think it is the mount for the transducer. This is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, also in here, also in the box, with a little pool noodle. I think that's to help the fish finder float, I would assume. So, on to the next object. Right here, looks like the transmitter arm to hold it. But uh, yeah, also another cool part. All right, here we go. This right here is where you mount your transducer. Uh, yeah, these wires plug, this wire plugs into the transducer, this mounts it, then it hooks up to your battery, and yeah, oh, there's even more parts under this cardboard piece, sick. <clears throat> Alright, next part, got another little mount for your transducer, always comes in handy. Next up, positive and negative wires for your battery. Kind of need it to run the whole thing. Next up, these are parts to put the actual transducer and fish finder together. Should be lit. Next up, what do we have here? Do not know what that is, but just some more bolts, washers, and yeah. Now, got a little box. Mystery X. What could be in it? 
Oh, looks like more wires. Indeed it is. Looks like a... Oh, it's the battery charger. Cool. That's sick. So we got a little battery charger. And last but not least, the most important part. This is for the ice fishing. This is where you mount your thing to, I think you can mount it to the bag too, honestly. Do all the good stuff. But uh, yeah, that is <clears throat> really cool. Oh, I see. This thing slides into here like that. Other way around maybe. I don't really know. Oh yeah, other way around. So there's your transducer arm and thing combined. And let's go and try to get this thing set up. So guys, at the end of your setup, this is what the garment should look like. You can put the pool noodle on the side if you want, but you should be able to open this zipper and your full garment setup should be right there. Look, you can turn it on. This thing is sick, guys. This thing will help me kayak fishing, ice fishing. You guys will see me catch a lot more fish as you can see it. I don't know if the focus will be good, but you have traditional, you have flasher, split frequency, you can put waypoints, you can do everything in here. But uh, yeah, so I think that will wrap up the video for the day. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see you guys in the next one.